Hello there. <laughs> this is gonna be so awesome. No, Finally. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is the first time I have ever triple casted. Well, yes, let's too. make it count. <laughs> <laughs> I feel All like right. we should have like a talking stick or something. Well, you know what they say, Maddles, like, uh, the first time you manage to pull a threesome, you should enjoy it, because you never know when the other opportunity will present itself. <laughs> and with, with these wise words, let us introduce our players that have the privilege of being triple-casted. Uh, we have here in the bottom left corner of Entombed Valley, currently down 0-1. Uh, it is the yellow Protoss player, XP Top Shooter. And his opponent currently up one to zero after some nice uh, multi-pronged harassing and attacking. Uh, the blue Protoss player representing Team Druids. It is Wana. So of course we do have the situation where Wana is one game up. It's a best of three. Shooter no doubt wants to come back into this, but generally speaking, Wana he just won that previous game not on the head-on engagements, not on the macro, but just on his harassment and drop play. So do we reckon Shooter is going to be able to throw something interesting, or are we going to see Wana go for something a little bit crazy? We'll have to wait and see. And uh, oh god damn it, it's so good to be back. <laughs> Sorry, just had to express my happiness. Uh, so we do see Shooter get, uh, taking the gas as well as One Eyes taking the gas. Nothing fishy so far. We'll have to wait until uh, either of these players decides to uh, take a second gas rather quickly. We'll have to see. But mm. And scouting both of them in the wrong direction, actually. They both went opposite ways as well. No, they both went clockwise. I did. Some players do that though, have you ever noticed that? They just all decide to go clockwise. Hmm, wow. Looks like a little bit of a... If I look at the minimap, it's like, it's like two mice trying to find a way out of the labyrinth or something like that. I see that. I do see that. But anyway, let's talk a little bit about strategy that we could be seeing <laughs> in this game and enough about mice trying to escape a labyrinth. We do see there's a cyber call coming down for both these players. And our third caster's gone awfully quiet. He must be observing like a beast. Well, I'm not sure if I'm observing like a beast, but uh, generally, when there's other people talking, I don't mind just browsing around the map and uh, doing some observing. So uh, I think that actually uh, works out quite well. I'm j I'll just be highlighting random probes on the map. Uh, <laughs> And stuff like that while you're doing the the random uh, banter. You should name them. We I, like. Have you ever done that? Where you've had games which are so that are so slow and nothing happens that you end up naming units and just going for an imaginary story about what this unit is going to be doing. Just like, and this is Dave the Immortal. Dave the Immortal has a tough life. All he does is stand around all day with those heavy, heavy arms and this probe, like just sitting on the ramp. Like all he wants to do is go down, and he does. He gets to go down it. This is so exciting for the probe. This is some, per some personal growth he's experiencing. Yeah, he's he's going out into the big wide world at last. He's decided to leave the safety of his natural, but well, actually, oh, it's, it's not even his natural. He's deciding no. to leave the the the, <laughs> the unsafety of his opponent's natural and then venture forth into the world. You know what? I think he's gonna get a raise for that. He's just like I've, I don't like it here. Like I've been working enough. I've scouted the the nexus isn't coming down. I'm gonna run away, and there was a good job he did run away because stalkers came out. Meanwhile, we've got the Twilight Council coming out for shooter. So maybe thinking, Wanna game one, you Ooh. most certainly had a good job with those blink stalkers. I'm gonna try and get back at you, but Wanna he's getting out of Stargate. Yeah, and the and Stargate the dark shrine coming up for top shooter. So it's going to be all kinds of craziness for different things wow. uh, from both players. Alright, at first I thought this is just going to be a blink build, but yeah, he was just stockpiling too, uh, too many of that, too much of that gas, and let me ch just tell you straight up, unless uh, Wana will not scout with his first phoenix straight up, or with his first two phoenixes at most, if he waits for three, He's going to arrive and see the Dark Shrine way too late. He's putting up a little bit of a pressure right now, trying to see how many units, and seeing two Zealots instead of only just one should tell him that something's up. One of yes. put down his uh, Robo quite uh, a while ago already, so he may be suspecting something or at least wants to be uh, secure against the possibility of uh, DT play. The Robo is now finishing up and the Dark Shrine isn't even done yet, so he makes the observer now. Which There's really the observer! Oh my goodness, Wana, you legend. That was brilliant. And Shooter is now unfortunately in a lot of problems. Yeah, he is. He has to stay alive for long enough. And 
like first of all he has to somehow dodge this first observer with his DTs uh, hopefully for him Wana will send the observer directly to his opponent's main base no he doesn't he actually keeps the observer right above on top of that robo facility so I think he's got this timed out pretty well and you know without putting that early pressure on this would be a really dangerous and risky play but since he's putting on the pressure he's forcing his opponent to keep all of uh, the rest of his army back home and we do have one defending DT here and uh, that DT is going to chase those stalkers away quite handily the yeah. Phoenixes haven't even really come into play yet and still uh, already uh, one eye is uh, putting on solid pressure yeah, this pressure is very solid. We see the one is starting to lose probes back at his main. Meanwhile, Shooter warping in just more units. And while we do now have the Observer coming back, Warner will be able to defend this. But how much has he lost? Well, he has already lost nine probes this game. That is pretty substantial. It takes the work account to bang on equal. So it all comes up to what can be done with the follow-up. There are still those two Phoenix out on the map, but they have come back to defend. And now one is going to move out with those Phoenix. He's got the lift available, and that means that he can negate some of the effect of these Stalkers, allowing him to get the superior numbers on the ground. But it's all going to come down to one big engagement. And is this going to be it? I think Wana is in a lot of trouble here, moving out with the Stalkers out on the map when you know your opponent is going DTs is not the smartest choice ever, because surely the follow-up with Charge Lord Archon and just bust up your ramp is very, very likely, and actually what Wana should have done in this situation was just start building a wall on top of his ramp and wait until he has enough units out. He's, he's still only on three gates, he's got zero immortals, he's just now getting a fourth gate because he knows that he needs the production to match his opponent and uh, those Phoenix is doing uh, well trying to pay for themselves but should be coming back anytime now to help in the defense the observer moving forward just trying to take a little look this observer is going to be named Jane now Jane the observer is trying to get a good look but unfortunately we see the pylon coming down and now good pylon block at the top the force field absolutely perfect there Wanna unfortunately unable to engage with his zealots but neither is shooter the stalker count is superior for Wanna and therefore is able to do some good damage and this is going to be a pretty tough hold yeah, I think Wana is done for. I don't really believe that he can come back from this. I mean, four gates worth of production uh, and uh, charge is finished. And those stalkers, beautiful oh, force fields going force down, field. preventing those stalkers from escaping further. And I think this is game right here. There we go. GG Shooter levels up this series 1-1. And therefore, we will be going into game three of this battle.